Oh. Hello YouTube, Sunshine Little H here for episode 15 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. Um, the first thing I want to mention in this video is that in my previous video, the uh, last episode of the Rotary Craft tutorial, when I talked about the motion tracker along with the mob radar, is I forgot to use the motion tracker. Uh, Reka handily brought that up. If you right click with the motion tracker uh, towards a mob, it will tell you how far away that mob is from you. So even you can do that through walls as well, so you can uh, figure out, when you see those little lines, you can just figure out how far away those things are. Alright, so let's go to that. And for our tutorial today, we're going to head over to our underwater base. Head over and... It's interesting. It looks like squids are dying near our base. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that in a minute. See what's up. Alright, so we're back at the underwater base for React Craft. Yeah, we'll just put our scuba gear up. <laughs> Come on, door. And today we are talking about the heavy water extractor. So we've basically talked about all the reactors except for one. Um, it's going to be a while before we talk about that, but let's talk about some of the stuff you're going to need um, before you uh, get into that, uh, which of course is the fusion reactor. Uh, the first thing you're going to need, uh, well, you're going to need a lot of stuff, but you're, you're going to need fuel for it. And so for that you're going to need deuterium, you're going to need tritium, which means you're going to need heavy water. And the heavy water extractor is just a machine that when placed in the proper environment and given enough power will uh, produce heavy water. It's really quite simple. So the heavy water extractor is crafted with four base panels, one shaft unit, two glass, an impeller, and a liquid pipe. And that gives you the heavy water extractor. I've got one set up over here. Now the heavy water extractor has some very uh, specific requirements. You'll notice that I have had to break into my floor for some reason. And uh, in order for the heavy water extractor to work, it needs to be underneath Y level 45. Okay, so if you look at this, my eye position is currently at Y level 44. Um, I originally had this thing up a block, but that was actually Y level 45.6. So uh, it wouldn't work being one block up. So if, you, if you're if you giving your thing enough power and it's got water up above it, and you're wondering why it doesn't work, it might be because you're not at, the low, at a low enough Y level. All right, this thing is meant to be placed near the bottom of deep bodies of water. And it's another thing. The heavy water extractor will only function if there are 16 blocks of water above it, at least. Okay? And if at least three sides have water on it. All right? So you can't just build a pillar of water above the heavy water extractor. Uh, you have to put water on a, a, an additional two sides. Um, but you could probably do that with a 16 block pillar and then some water on the other side. I don't know. But I put it down here. It's cool. Like that. Um, so this thingy is underneath Y level 45. It has uh, more than 16 blocks of water above it, and it has water on the other side. So if we kick it on, and it does require, uh, its minimum required power is 65 kilowatts, and it requires at minimum 512 newton meters of torque and 128 radians per second. And if we look at it, the heavy water extractor, it's currently producing heavy water at a pretty uh, you know nice uh, rate there. Um, although I imagine that it gets used up pretty quickly. Uh, in the applications, but right now we are producing our heavy water, and it's being produced pretty quickly. The only visual difference between regular water and heavy water is a slightly different blue color when it's inside the pipe and inside the reservoir. It's, um, let's take a look at a reservoir of water. I gotta type reservoir first. Here's a regular water. And here is the heavy water. So that's the only real difference. The heavy water is just a slightly like darker blue, and it's not quite as saturated as the normal water. Um, so yeah, that's how you can tell it's heavy water. Other than the the whale tool tip at the top, which very clearly tells you that this is heavy water. And what you're going to use heavy water for is 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 as a component to produce the fuel that you're going to have to load into the uh, into the fusion re uh, reactor. Um, Heavy water, you can then turn it into uh, deuter uh, deuterium, uh, which you can then process into tritium, and then you combine those two in a fusion reactor in order to get um, fusion. <laughs> but we're going to talk about that much later. But we're going to go through all of the individual components to the fusion reactor before we finally talk about that beast of a machine. Um, but you can see in the moments that we've been uh, standing here talking about it, uh, the uh, heavy water extractor has already filled up this um, reservoir here, so it does produce quite a bit of, uh, of you know, uh, over time very quickly, although I imagine you're going to need to use a crap ton of this stuff uh, to produce enough fuel to keep running a fusion reactor. But anyway, 
we've got that going there, and uh, that's the, that's the heavy water extractor. Um, that's pretty much it for as far as the heavy water extractor goes. Uh, although I am kind of interested in why squids are constantly um, seem to be dying near my base. I better come in here and see if there's anything going on. Oh. Oh dear. Oh man. I suppose this is what I get. Uh, ooh, for not making sure that my breeder reactor was turned off. Oh goodness. This isn't good. That's bad stuff right there. Oof. Not, uh. Let's clean this up. Not good. My, uh, my breeder reactor melted. Yeah. That's not good. And then we've got all this steam bouncing around and this dirt and sand. I don't know where it came from. And I, <laughs> I did not place this steam, uh, dirt and uh, sand here. Um, the uh, steam stale steel blocks I had around it have been thrown a, a, into the corner. Dang. The turbine's still here. What is this haze? It's like this constant haze of, of crap. Ah, it hasn't invaded this room. Oh man. <laughs> I, I think I've found uh, the culprit for uh, my uh, low frame rate. In some of these videos, plug that hole. Plug that hole. What? I thought I plugged the hole. Where's this water coming from? Eh. Where's the water coming from? Come on. Let's make sure there aren't any holes. I don't know. There we go. The water's gone. But we've got this uh, horrible haze. So, yeah, this isn't good. Oh, I'll have to clean this up for later. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a setback. But yeah, uh, make sure that if you go off to do other things, like uh, a Rotary Craft tutorial series, that you make sure to turn off your um, your breeder reactor. Uh, oof. Yeah, well, that's not a good thing. So, uh, let this be a PSA for you as well as a tutorial. So, anyway, um, Okay, that's it. Uh, that's all I got for today. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, um, stay tuned. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Stay tuned for future episodes. I'm, I, I, I'm going to let you know that um, once we get through talking about all of the uh, individual thingies, uh, before we get ready for the fusion reactor, there is going to be a quite sizable break before we actually get to the fusion reactor. Um, because I, I want to make that really uh, really cool and uh, interesting, so I'm going to have to build something uh, neat for that. So uh, the series will be quote-unquote ending pretty soon once we talk about how to produce the uh, various fuels. Um, and talk about one or two of the uh, component machines that you're going to need other than the reactor itself. Um, but don't let that uh, confuse you, I will cover the fusion reactor. I just want to make it suitably epic. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, stay tuned for future videos, another episode of the Let's Play comes out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.